Hi guys, how are you doing? Well today I have for you something a little bit different but it's kind of been requested here and there through different videos and that is what are my favorite cruise ships? I often get asked a lot of cruise questions. A lot of you know my husband and I take cruises a lot. We've been on more than a dozen. We usually go about twice a year. So I have different videos on cruising that I'll link below but I just thought it might be nice to share what some of our favorite ships were and why. So I asked my husband um, to kind of go over this list with me to make sure you know that my top five were the same as his top five and I know I've mentioned before to you guys I often find a ship itself can kind of make or break the cruise and I know some people might not agree with that but for some of us sometimes that's the reason why we're going cruising maybe when we want to check out a new ship or it's all about the features that particular ship has to offer Sometimes it's not so much about the ship as the destination. So I think it depends on if you cruise a lot, um, what your destination is, just kind of your cruise style in general. But I know for my husband and I, a lot of times it's about the ship. So let me go ahead and start, and I'm gonna start off with number one. Um, for both my husband and I, it would definitely be Allure of the Seas. And any particular ships I talk about, if I happen to have a cruise vlog that goes along with it, or anything pertaining to that ship, like an overview or anything, I will link it below. So we actually went on a lure for my 40th birthday. Um, that's coming up here in a few months, will be two years ago. We went with my parents and my husband's parents. We had a great time. Um, you know, I did shoot a cruise vlog, kind of showed you our cabin. So many of you have gotten that same cabin or one similar because of that video. Um, we had a great cabin. I think that was a lot of it for us is we had cabins all right in a row. We wanted to try something different. So we got boardwalk balcony cabins and we really enjoyed it. Just, you know, seeing everything that was going on because on many other ships, you only have the option of getting, you know, like an ocean view balcony. So we thought that was really cool. Um, just the size of the ship overall was cool because, you know, it's a large ship. There's a lot to do. You know, the staff was fantastic. Uh, we just really enjoyed the ship. Again, if you want to hear more about it, I did do an overview on the ship at that time, like right after we got back. So I'll link that below. Oddly enough, three out of the five of these are Royal Caribbean. I've mentioned before, we normally sail with Royal and that is our overall favorite cruise line. We have sailed with a lot of the big brands, different ones, um, but that's definitely our favorite. So you won't be surprised that number two is going to be freedom of the seas so so at the time freedom sails out of port canaveral and my husband and i used to live in florida and that was actually our home port so that always you know holds a place in our heart because we just like the area in general and it's a fun port to cruise out of we actually ended up getting a balcony on the very aft of the ship i think that was our first time doing that we were on deck nine i believe very aft um, so it was a great room, really loved the cabin we were in, just loved the ship overall with the nice um, promenade down the middle. I remember thinking the food in the dining room wasn't fantastic on Freedom, but we really enjoyed the breakfast buffet um, and those, you know, selections they had there. But just overall, we just really enjoyed Freedom of the Seas. I don't think I have many videos on Freedom because we took that um, right after Thanksgiving a few years ago, and that might have been... Um, when I wasn't vlogging the cruises or anything, but I'll check and see. Um, so next would be our most recent ship we tried out and that would be uh, Regal Princess. That was our first time on Princess. We absolutely love the ship. That's their largest ship to date. Um, and it's it was less than a year old when we went on it. Um, it's absolutely stunning. I just really enjoyed the decor, um, how beautiful it was. It wasn't cheesy. Like, you know, there's just some cruise ships and cruise ship lines that the decor is just cheesy. That's all I know how to say about it. This was like elegant and pretty, but not too stuffy. Um, just really loved it. Loved the design. It was probably one of our most favorite favorite cabins we've ever had. Uh, the layout of the cabin was great. We had like a deluxe balcony. Again, I talk more about that in another video that I'll link below, but really enjoyed that ship. Um, really enjoyed Princess overall as a whole, and we would sail with them again for sure. 
So next would be Serenade of the Seas, and that's also from Royal Caribbean Line. Uh, we took this cruise last spring out of New Orleans. Sadly, they are no longer cruising out of New Orleans, which is a shame because that's a really great port to cruise out of going down the Mississippi. Um, there's a couple of different itineraries. So not only did we love the itinerary because it went to Key West, we hadn't been there in many years. Um, you know, went to the private island. It was just a really nice, relaxing cruise. We had great weather. We just really enjoyed the ship. That We had never been on that class of ship before. Um, and that's a really popular class of ship for Royal Caribbean as well. It's a little bit smaller than the Freedom class, but it doesn't feel small. Like it has a lot of nice things. Um, probably one of the best um, wind jammer, which is the cafe, the buffet, probably one of the best setups out of any Royal Caribbean ships we've been on. We really liked that one. Freedom of the Seas has a really good setup though too, but really love Serenade of the Seas as far as the setup with that. The food was really good. Um, even though, you know, you have the same cruise line I've mentioned before, you know, food can be hit and miss just because it's the same overall line. Sometimes you'll find things are the exact same no matter what ship and sometimes you'll find things that are different. I don't think, I did do a cruise vlog from that one, but I know I didn't do a follow-up just because I really didn't feel like I had much to say, just like now. We just really enjoyed it overall, and it definitely stood out as one of our favorites. So we're looking forward to going on that class of ship again. And then last would be Celebrity Eclipse. So we've been on three celebrity cruises. Uh, two out of th the three were great. I've mentioned before, one of them was awful, um, and we've not been back on Celebrity since, and it kind of turned us off from the brand, but we really loved Eclipse. That's part of the Solstice class um, ship, and we just really liked that one. Even though we actually went on Silhouette, which is the sister ship, so they're practically identical, we found we didn't like Silhouette at all, but we really loved Eclipse. That was um, our second time cruising with Celebrity when we went on Eclipse. And what we really loved about it was especially the lawn area. Um, we would go up there, you know, every day at sea and hang out, you know, in chairs or you could hang out actually on the lawn area. It's just a really cool feature to have on the ship. The food I remember was outstanding. We really liked our cabin and the decor. Just the overall ship was really pretty. I do think I have a vlog on that if you'd like to see. Of course, this list may end up changing as we take other cruises. Um, but definitely let me know what your guys' favorite cruise ship has been. Um, I would love to know because as I said before, we love trying out other ships and other cruise lines. Um, we'd still like to go on Disney um, at some point. So I hope you guys found this helpful or at least interesting to know and we'll see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.